What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Herkaway here, back again with another video. Uh, so in this video, I decided to take some questions uh, from some people who have questions about how to, I guess, do things with your computer. All right, this goes from building your computer, this goes with you having problems with Windows, and it's just something that I thought would be helpful to help other people. And I'm calling this segment Ask Her. You know, just, just ask me, you know. If you have a question, just ask me. You can reach me at Twitter at, at Herc08. Uh, of course, you can hit me on YouTube. Just leave a comment below if you have any questions that you want me to answer in any future episodes. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started into the first question. This is from Robert Hobbs, uh, 420. And his question is, I'm buying a MSI 0370 motherboard. We're just going to leave it at that. And it only has four system fan headers, but I'm getting five Be Quiet fans. And it's and is it safe to have two of them on one header with a splitter? Well, Robert, yes. Uh, with this, it is safe having a two fans on one splitter, as you can see in this picture. And it's not going to hurt the fans whatsoever. Uh, however, do know that the fans will run at the same speed that the header tells it to. So if you have one fan at the top and one fan at the bottom, and one's your intake, one's your outtake, they're, they're definitely going to run at the same speed. Uh, you also want to think about space and how far apart the fans are from that header. Uh, you may want to consider something like a fan controller where you can actually control the speed of each fan and have that precise control, you know. It's a bit more money, but it's getting ready to go into the summertime. It's going to get hot, and with fan header, uh, not a fan controller to your header, it'll be able to keep your computer cool. All right, next question comes from Nish Azufi. I am guess I'm saying that right. Uh, I have a HP Compact 610 laptop, which was previously used for my brother. He had dual booted Windows 8 and Windows XP. First of all, who is still using XP? Let's keep going. I no longer need Windows XP and tried deleting their partition using this management. It was not possible and a message popped up saying cannot delete active system partition. I read in the internet that using this part and setting the volume to inactive can be used to remove the partition. I tried this and set the SP volume to inactive and restarted the laptop. The laptop no longer boots and displays the message, non-system disk or disk error, replace and strike any key when ready. So what should I do to solve this and boot successfully and remove Windows SP? Any help uh, would be much appreciated. Again, you know, you're using Windows XP. I have no reason why. That is a major upgrade to um, go to Windows 8. Personally, for going to Windows XP, I would have went straight to Windows 7 because I understand, you know, you want to use some legacy apps, but Windows 7 is designed to be backwards compatible. Uh, but nevertheless, though, trying to delete partitions can be tricky. I would recommend using this part without booting into Windows, meaning that you want to get something with a installation media. So if you had the Windows 8 disk or the Windows 10 um, image on a USB stick, use that to boot into the command prompt and then use that for this part to remove the um, partition. Now, this is free of charge and it can save you some time. If that still doesn't work, uh, using a popular software from uh, Ease Us or Ease US, as you can see here, is recommended as well. It is a free trial, but I mean, you're using it one time, so you're not really uh, losing anything if you're using the free trial. If all else fails, it's probably best to just wipe and reinstall Windows freshly. And you might as well just upgrade to Windows 10 or stick to Windows 7. I mean, Windows 8 is kind of like that bastard child that you really don't want. All right, next we have a question from Ayub, Ayub Hassan 1994. Hello. Someone hacked my Wi-Fi and named it. I am a danger. I am a danger hacker. Now, <laughs> first, let me tell you. When I picked this question in my mind, I read dangerous. 
But now that I'm reading it, it actually says I am a danger hacker. But let's continue. But uh, they didn't change the password. Then I changed my Wi-Fi name. But I can't change the password. It's blocked. What should I do? First off, let's take a look at the screen right here. I just did this with a quick Google search and it shows me the default password on Router's administration page. The number one rule in routing or the number one rule in networking is always, always change the default password. Even if you have friends who you share your password with, like your your main password, when they say, hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? When you share that password, if they can get this page, then they pretty much take control of your network and they can lock you out. All right, now you mentioned that you changed the name, but you cannot change the password. Not really sure what you mean here, because if you can change the name, then that means that you're in the administrative privileges and you can change the password of the admin and change the password of connecting to the Wi-Fi. So not sure what you mean by that. All right, so I can assume, I can assume that you have no special settings on your router. So here's my recommendation. Take it completely offline, like unplug it and reset the router. You can either do this in the admin tool or most routers these days have a button, uh, button combination or a reset button on the router itself. And it just resets to factory settings. All right, now before you plug in your modem and go into the internet, go directly to your administration page and change the password. I can almost guarantee you that the default password can be seen right here on this page. All right, so good luck, are you? Next, we have Luker Wakan 50. I want to say Wakanda, but uh, I know it's not Wakanda. And uh, Luke says, I reset my laptop, which had Windows 10, and it took days before reporting it failed to reset, and now it cannot boot. What shall I do? All right. So you're trying to reinstall Windows. From this question, it looks like you don't care about losing any data. So in a situation like this, I always recommend to start fresh. If you're using the OE, OEM partition, uh, but you don't really care about the bloatware, then I say go for it. Now, some people will say Windows 10 has bloatware, but it's easily able to be removed in about five or 10 minutes. If possible, get on another computer where you have to go to your library or if you have to borrow a friend's computer, get an eight gigabyte hard drive or a thumb drive, they're dirt cheap these days, and download the Windows Media Cre uh, Creation Tool. Just Google that, Windows Media Creation Tool. All right, the first link you, sh uh, you see should take you right here at this page. You can go to your local library, like I said, or any place with uh, internet access. So you don't really need to, uh, to install anything, so that's the beauty of it. Just download that program, run it, and let it do its thing. And once you boot it up to your computer with that eight gigabyte thumb drive, delete all the partitions and get to install that freshness. So good luck, Luke, and I hope the force is with you. Lastly, we have All Fun Sparker. And this question is what I like to call, will this work? Cause I get this question asked all the time. You know, people get excited about building PCs and they get all their parts together. And they're like, hey, is this gonna work? And I, I tell them the truth, you know? So, um, All Fun Sparker says, uh, well, his part list is a do-it-yourself a case with USB 3.0 has two fans. Okay, a Western Digital Purple one terabyte surveillance hard disk. Uh, I really don't like purple. I stick with blue or black, but whatever. 5400 RPM. We'll get back to that later. A a sock uh, AS Rock N68 GS4 socket AM3 plus. Very important there. A G Skill. Uh, rip jaw series four gigabytes two by two gigabytes all right ddr3 no surprise there evga 400 watt power supply okay nothing and amd a4 4000 dual core 3.2 gigahertz socket fm2 all right so like i said it's it's, it's understandable that you want to know if these parts will go together all right now some people like to go on the high end like the newest and the greatest and some people like to go on the low low end now you have this case you know again us usb 3.0 not bad now 
you, you want to get the purple hard drive. Again, like I mentioned before, the only labels that I recommend are blue and black. And if you have a NAS, then go with red. But purple, no, it's not really for computer usage. And also, 5400 RPM is way too slow. I mean, I understand that you're trying to save money, but hard drives are not expensive these days. And that 7200 would be totally worth it. Now, of course, I recommend throwing an SSD, uh, even a cheap 120 gigabyte SSD. But if you're on a budget, I get it. A, ter a terabyte hard drive is not going to hurt you. It's going to boot up in about 15 to 20 seconds. So it's it's not that bad, honestly. Next, you're one of the AM, AM3 Plus motherboard. Now, this is the red flag that you're looking to build a cheap way to build a computer. Even if this stuff was new, it would not be worth it. I mean, four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM isn't bad, but it's not really good either. And then there's a 400 watt power supply. Even though it's not 80 plus or 80%, I mean, I don't feel like it needs to be expensive for this bill, but you know, it, it is what it is. But then there's the brain of a computer, the CPU, which is this AMD A4 4000 FM2 socket. Now, you always have to look at the sockets because if the sockets don't match, then it's, it doesn't really matter. This CPU is an FM2 socket while the motherboard is an AM3 Plus socket. Now AM3s are, or AM is backwards compatible. As you can see, they do AM3 Plus, AM3, AM2 Plus, AM2. Uh, they're backwards compatible, but they do not mingle with FM. So just something to say that this will not work. Now I get it. You're trying to save money and you're trying to be on a budget. But using very old parts that really isn't going to do anything but allow you to get on the internet and maybe bring up office isn't the way to go. Now, I can imagine you're probably wanting to spend 100 to $150. I'm, I'm just guessing based off these parts. Your best bet is one, save up more money and get newer parts, even if they're used, like a used Skylake, a G4400, if I'm not mistaken, that's, that's Pentium, that's Skylake, with a cheap uh, H110 motherboard, eight gigs of RAM, even four gigs of RAM, a cheap 500 gigs um, hard drive, which actually one terabyte is usually cheaper, um, and a cheap 450 watt power supply that's 80 plus. I mean, it's only even 80 plus bronze that's dirt cheap, or you can get rebates. So, uh, getting those parts will work. Now, even if you don't want to save up money and you want a computer right now, based off these parts and based off this list, you might want to just get a laptop. Because even with a laptop, you can get a probably a fourth or fifth generation CPU. You can get eight gigabytes of RAM, either 500 gigabytes or one terabyte of hard drive space. Uh, not to mention it's portable. Now, I don't see you playing any games whatsoever on this build. So honestly, a laptop will be perfect for you. So hopefully that answers your question on all fun sparker. Um, again, uh, if, if you're desperate about a build like this, you look for a CPU that matches your motherboard or vice versa, but I wouldn't recommend even going this route. Just go the laptop route if you can't save up. Well guys, that's all I got. It's your boy Herc Wait, uh, If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. As always though, subscribe to the channel. Got more content coming on the way. And like I said before, if you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter, at Herc08. I'm always on my Twitter. Or drop a comment below in this video if you have any questions and I'll try to either answer in the comments or uh, post it in my next week's video. I'm gonna try to do this as a weekly basis so we, that way I can try to answer more questions out. And let me know what you guys think if you want a new format or whatnot. All right, it's your boy Herc08. I'm out of here. Peace. Don't touch my